What's going on YouTube, it's Gadgets Boy. Welcome to another video and on my wrist is the brand new Fossil Smartwatch Gen 5, also known as Carlisle HR. I don't know why they call it that, but I'll find out more when I end up doing my review. I'm, I'm a big fan of the previous edition, the Gen 4, and my issue only with this thing is the fact that the battery life barely lasts me a day and when it does, I'm just skimping through, just about. And some of the other things have been improved as well, which I'll talk you through in just a minute. But it's looking smart and I'm happy with it so far. Battery life is still a bit, mm, but I'll tell you more about it just in a second. Let's see what's in the box. So this is the brand new Fossil Smartwatch Gen 5, also known as Carlisle HR. So this is very similar at first glance compared to the old one. So the face is still quite similar. In fact, the old one looks slightly larger, but I just think that's a design effect because that's a bit rounded on the, on the newer version. The old one has that groove around it that almost feel like you can rotate it. You have subtle changes there as well. So the new one now has a loudspeaker, which is used for Google Assistant, uh, voice prompts. You can also use it for making and receive phone calls. And also uh, you get notification prompts as well through that. If you look at the crown as well on the new one, it's slightly rounded and protrudes just a bit more than the old one. And on the back as well, on the, on the art rate center on the back, it protrudes a bit more on the newer one, which I'm sure that's probably to make better contact with the skin for uh, monitoring your heart rate. You still got that quick release strap as well, and it's still the same 22 meters uh, one as well. So you can change it to a leather one, or if you prefer uh, a metal strap, if you want. Elsewhere, this is 44 millimeters diameter, stainless steel chassis, 12 millimeters thick as well. So it's not that FD at all. You have six colors and uh, six colors and straps option available. You got microphone, like I said before, and speakers for Google Assistant and so on. And this big display as well, it's really good. You got 1.3 inch full round AMOLED display with 328 PPI with automatic sunlight boosting. So they've kind of designed it so you'll be able to see this in all scenarios. So whether direct sunlight or not, you'll be able to see it at all times. You'll be able to tell the time and see your training session and so on. This runs on Snapdragon, Qualcomm Snapdragon 3100. It's got eight gig of storage and one gig of RAM. So it's improved there as well. And Fossil said this will run for 36 hours and it's got rapid charging. And this I'm looking forward to trying out because the older version, what I didn't really like is the battery life. It barely lasted me a day. And if I can get more than a day out of this thing, I would use it a lot more. Because what I, find myself is, what I must find myself doing on the old one is when I run out of battery and I forget to charge it, I can't use it the next day. So I just end up going back to my normal non-smart watch. It's also got NFC for payment. So it's uh, compatible with Google Pay. So you can pay, uh, for example, on the London Underground. It's 30 meters swim proof ready. So if you like to swim in combination with HR sensor, you'd be able to use this to monitor your swim sessions, your training sessions, which is pretty cool and nifty. This is running on Google Wear OS 2.8, uh, but at the moment stuff is a bit, feels a bit laggy, maybe because this is a pre-production model. Uh, so when you're swiping left and right and doing all the gestures, sometimes it still feels a bit slow. Uh, the crown works really well for rotating and I love the two buttons as well, which you can customize. So at the moment, I think the top one is set to Google Fit and the bottom one is set to uh, training session. So you can quickly go into a training session without having to go through all your menu and so on. You can also set a lock, lock screen as well, so you can use pin uh, or you can use the pattern on lock and lock, which is pretty cool. The software in general, in general just works pretty well, very smooth, uh, apart from slight lag here and there, but I'm thinking we'll get an update in terms of software so that will, that will be fixed eventually, so that's not a problem at all for now. With Bluetooth 4.2 LE as well, you don't have to worry about this draining your smartphone in terms of connectivity and getting those notifications come through and uh, you know connecting to your smartphone at all. In general, I'm loving the design. This uh, rubber strap feels really nice on the wrist. It doesn't itch at all. It doesn't irritate my skin. Uh, the older one didn't either, but I know that some people complain about that in some cases. Uh, I kind of like the older stiffness on the strap, but again, having said that, this is still nice as well. It just wraps around, and I feel like when it's hot, that might be an issue. But again, I'll find out and report back for my full review. So that's it for the Fossil Smartwatch Gen 5 Carlisle HR. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, if this is your first time on the channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification so I uh, so you'll be the first to know when there's a new video on the channel. If you have any questions, drop them below as well. If there's anything you want me to try out or let you know uh, using it, let me know as well. Thanks for watching. I'm sure I'll see you guys in the next one.